Hey there, this is Jess for Ace Poker Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and set up the Nox emulator. First let's go to Google and type in Nox emulator. The website will be bignox.com. Click on that link and click on the big download button on the center. Wait for the download to finish. Once the download is finished, just double click on the installer to start the installation. Click on install and wait for it to finish. Click on start and wait for the emulator to load. This is the home screen of the Nox emulator. As you can see, it's on tablet mode now. I'll go ahead and set it to phone mode. Just click on the gear icon here, click on performance settings, and change tablet into mobile phone, and choose a resolution. Click on save settings, and click on restart now. Now we are on phone mode. Uh, just to show you the three basic buttons, this is the back button, the home button, and the tasks view button, just like what you have in a regular Android phone. Now I'm going to show you how to install a poker app, for example, Red Dragon. So just go to Google again and type Red Dragon Poker, for example. Uh, this is the correct one. Click on the link. On the menu, select Red Dragon Poker App and click on Android. Click on Click Download APK and select from any of these three buttons to download the APK file. Just wait for the APK file to finish downloading. Now the APK file for Red Dragon is downloaded. The file name is PS. To install it on Nox Emulator, simply drag the APK file to the screen of the Nox player and release it. As you can see, the Red Dragon Poker app is now installed and we can launch it now. Click on the Red Dragon Poker app icon to launch it and just wait for the app to load. Now all that's left is for you to log in with your account or to register for one if you don't have one yet. Now I'm going to show you a few of the settings in Nox Emulator. Just click on the gear icon on top. There are several tabs on the left. First will be general settings. So you can set it to launch on startup, etc., and change the language as well. Now on to performance settings. Uh, this is where you'll probably want to spend some time setting things up. If you want to change the settings of the emulator, to make the gameplay smoother, you can adjust them here. There's also settings for graphics. And like I showed earlier, if you want on mobile phone or tablet mode, that's um, landscape or portrait, you can change it here. On the interface settings, you can even change uh, mouse pattern and some other uh, graphics customizations for the emulator. And on game settings, it's also worth noting that there's a frame settings section here. So you can uh, play with this and see what works best with your current setup. And lastly, there's also shortcut settings on the bottom. So if these are convenient for you, you can set them to make your experience uh, optimal. 
Lastly, don't forget to click on Save Settings whenever you change uh, settings. Now I'm going to show you how to multi-table with Nox emulator. So when you've installed Nox, you will get uh, these two icons. One is for the Nox emulator, and the other one is the multi-drive, multiplayer manager. So double click on that to launch it. Now we are on Nox multi-instance manager. This first one, the first instance, that's the Nox emulator that we have right here. So what you want to do is clone these instances depending on how many tables you want to play. But to do that, first we have to click on stop. Stop the currently running instance. So click on stop. Okay. Once that is stopped, uh, the other options will appear here. What you want to click on is this icon, which is for copy. So I'll go ahead and click it. And now you have one more instance. And let's just create one more. And now you have three instances that you can start. Just to show you a few of the multi-instance settings, click on this button. And here you can set, uh, like in before, how many frames per second you want it to run. The uh, There are descriptions here. So 20 is the minimum. And the lower you set it, the better the performance will be as well as other uh, settings which you can find uh, in the same emulator settings as before. So again, just I also like to change this, the interval for starting. I like to set it to two seconds so you don't have to wait for too long. And mobile phone, 1080 by 920. And that's it. Just click on Save. Now we're ready to start the three instances. So you can select them all, or just simply click select all, and then click on batch operation, and click on start. First emulator, second emulator, and the third one. So we just wait for all three of them to start. So now all three instances are loaded. As you can see, they all have uh, Red Dragon Poker in them, which we installed all earlier on the first one. So whatever apps you've installed on the original emulator, when you clone that instance, you get the same apps, the same settings. Now let's go back to the multi-instance manager, A. There's a button here uh, called Multi-Instance Arrange. Just click on that. And you can set uh, how many emulator windows you want to fit in your window. So for example, five, four, or three, whatever. I put it to four. And just click on Arrange. So the windows will be automatically resized. And you can put them side by side or in whatever fashion you want to to effectively do your multi-tabling. And when you want to close off, you can also do that from the multi-instance manager. So again, select all of them, click batch operation, and click on close, and yes. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and good luck at the tables.